In the tapestry of the New Testament, one pivotal narrative centers on Jesus receiving baptism from John the Baptist. This critical and miraculous moment initiates a sequence of events culminating in the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Yet, the fundamental query persists. Why did John baptize Jesus? What does this act truly signify? The answer unveils a profound truth about Jesus and intricately intertwines the New and the Old Testament, weaving a cohesive narrative that resonates with spiritual significance. The story begins with Jesus traveling from Galilee to the Jordan River, where he finds John in the wilderness, baptizing repentant souls. When Jesus requests baptism, John, humbled by his stature, hesitates. However, Jesus permits it, for it is necessary to fulfill all righteousness. Relenting, John baptizes Jesus, marking a pivotal moment in the narrative. As soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. At that moment, heaven was opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. And a voice from heaven said, This is my Son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. To grasp the profound significance of this moment, it's crucial to understand who John the Baptist was. First, we must journey back to the times of Moses and his brother Aaron in the Old Testament. In the book of Exodus, Aaron and his sons were anointed by Moses to serve as the first priests. During the ordination, God instructed Moses to cleanse the priests with water before they donned their sacred garments and received the anointing with holy oil. Since their ordination, the priestly duties were assigned exclusively to Aaron's descendants, who became known as Levites. The Levites did not inherit land, but dedicated their lives to serving God. This lineage carried profound responsibilities through generations, culminating in John the Baptist, a Levite priest. The Gospel of Luke recounts the parents of John the Baptist. His father, Zechariah, served as a priest in the temple. Both Zechariah and John's mother, Elizabeth, were from the tribe of Levi. John the Baptist possessed the rightful lineage to serve in the temple following in the footsteps of his father. However, he chose an unconventional path, withdrawing to the wilderness and forsaking the traditional priestly life. Despite this departure from norms, people from Jerusalem and the entire Jordan region sought him out. They confessed their sins and were baptized by him in the Jordan River. But John's departure from tradition wasn't just a rejection of priestly orthodoxy. It was the living fulfillment of Isaiah's prophecy. A voice of one calling in the wilderness, prepare the way for the Lord, make straight paths for him. Every valley shall be filled in, every mountain and hill made low. The crooked roads shall become straight, the rough way smooth, and all people will see God's salvation. In the Hebrew text of Isaiah, the word for Lord is Jehovah. By fulfilling Isaiah's vision, John affirmed himself as the prophetic voice, preparing the way for Jehovah and the imminent advent of divine salvation. Moreover, in his role as a Levitical priest, John consecrated Christ for his exalted priesthood. But there's more depth to this story. As noted in Luke 3, Jesus was about 30 years old when he commenced his ministry, following his baptism. What might appear as a minor detail holds significant meaning. According to the Book of Numbers, priests were required to begin their priestly service in the Tent of Meeting at the age of 30. It is no mere coincidence that Jesus commences his ministry at approximately 30 years of age. Jesus, as both a descendant of King David and an ordained priest, holds a dual role as priest and king. He fulfills Old Testament prophecies as the Messiah. In Hebrew, Messiah means the Anointed One, and in Greek, it translates to Christ. Therefore, Jesus is referred to as Christ because he embodies the prophesied Messiah from the Old Testament. Additionally, the baptism of Jesus symbolizes the conclusion of the Levitical priesthood, which ended with John the Baptist. In Luke 16, Jesus declares, the law and the prophets were until John. Since then, the good news of the kingdom of God is preached and everyone forces his way into it. As the final Levitical priest, John the Baptist terminates the Old Testament era, paving the way for Jesus to establish a new priesthood and inaugurate the new covenant. With the arrival of Jesus Christ, the fulfillment of Old Testament prophecies is realized. Christ's baptism served multiple profound purposes. It was a public testimony by God the Father affirming Jesus as his unique and divine son, the Messiah. Secondly, it set an example for his followers and identified Jesus with the very sinners he came to save. Additionally, his baptism inaugurated his public ministry, including his role as God's high priest who atones for the sins of the people. Jesus Christ, sinless and unparalleled, glorifies God the Father forever and ever.